All right, guys, I'm working with a new company called Frantic Fishing Products, and they manufacture boat brakes, forward-facing sonar brakes, or crappie brakes. They've been doing it for a while. They have a proven control system, variable speed, forward reverse. They don't use these little small, inexpensive relays trying to make their system work. It's an actual control system uh, called the juice box. So you can go forward, you can go reverse. If you want to go forward for a long distance, you can go forward for a long distance. Some of the other systems on the market, you can't go forward, it'll overheat. Um, it'll pull too many amps because they're using a small relay, not this system. Uh, they're coming out with two new products. One is called the Dominator, which is the one I have on my boat. The other one is called the Outlaw, and the Outlaw has an auto reset breakaway system. So if you hit a stump, it will break away and auto reset. This system is independent. You don't even have to have rafters. You don't have to have power poles. It is its own system. It's electric actuators that will auto deploy by remote down and remote back up. So you can actually get off plane, go ahead and hit your remote. While they're going down, you can come back up here, get your trolling motor down and get ready and they're already on the water. Doesn't take very long for them to deploy or retract. Good thing about them is you can stop your boat when you're out trying to target those individual suspended fish. So you run up on them, you can hit reverse, stop the boat, and make your cast. All right, we're back here. Right now they are down. They're deployed. Now how you can tell is that top electrical connection, the elbow, right there, you can see it's down. So we're gonna go ahead and raise them up. So let's go over here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the up button. They both go up at the same time. So that's how you can tell when they're in the up position. You can see the elbows, the um, wiring electrical cord for the trolling motors is, is up. And you can see that our trolling motors is well above the uh, where the boat is gonna run on plane, well above. So the prop or nothing's gonna hit the water when you're up on plane at all. Uh, actually, these is right at center line of the, just the water line. So let's uh, deploy them so I can show you that. So we're going to get a remote. We're going to hit the down button. They're going down. All right, we're out here on the water. Let's see what we got. Um, it's right now we're about 0.1514 mile per hour. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the throttle on the trolling motor. Okay, we're cruising along as you can see. Okay, we're right, let's get up to about right around two mile an hour. You know, say we're at, get up here at around probably about two. All right, and then all of a sudden, uh oh, we see a fish here. We can stop, hit our brakes. Now watch it stop. Look at that, we're stopped. So now we could cast to that fish if we wanted to. All right, now let's try it out in the forward. See what kind of uh, speed we can get out of it. Right now we're basically uh, not moving. I've got, I've got the um, forward position. I'm gonna go ahead and take off.
Look at that. We're already up to 1.3, 1.38, 1.4. Now see, you can't do that with the other systems because they're running a small relay. It's gonna overheat and uh, kick the system out. But with the uh, juice box, it's an actual control system that uh, they've used for a good while. We just got back off the water. I wanna just kinda of show you what they look like. You've got a pin. You can push the button and pull out. This will go down onto the kickstand. You can see it. That's there, uh, of course, in the stowed position. We'll go over, kind of get you a look over this way. There's the pin. Props. All right, now, remote. We want to go down. Just hit the down button. It will stop on its own. Now, if you want to go back up, remote, up button. The Dominators. Frantic Fishing Products. All right. Now, I don't know why you would ever want to go halfway or any part of the way down or whatever. But if you wanted to, you can go ahead and hit the down button. And let's just say you wanted to stop right there. You just hit the down button again. And let's say you can hit it down. It'll continue on down. You want to stop it right there. You can always hit the up button and go right back up again. This is a really nice system. You don't have to worry about standing on the back of the boat, trying to let manual systems down. I just don't know, you know, myself personally, I would rather have a auto deploy system if I could get one, um, than the risk falling off my boat in winter time or whatever, you know, trying to let them go down or whatever. And then every time you gotta go up or down your boat, you know, you're gonna have to um, manually pull them up and down. Just a lot of work, in my opinion. Um, also, I mean, this, I mean, this system is just, just great. I mean, I just, I think that uh, you're gonna really like this system. I'm liking it and I know you will too.